So what I want to simply say to you that this is going to make the third night I've been drinking this drink. All right. So tonight going to be the third night and it's going to be beautiful. All right. It's beautiful and it's a very healthy drink. Okay. Um, I'm going to share it one more time with you tonight. Hope you guys will love it. Um, yeah. So basically, here it is. We've got a lemon again, which we're going to be using. Um, I've been using the lemon and the upper side of vinegar over the last three nights now. Okay. So um, I'm introducing you one more time and hope you guys will understand. Okay. Um, I'm not going to be too long like the night before. Last night, I talked a lot about the lemon, the ginger, and the up lemon and apple cider vinegar last night. Um, yes, so tonight going to make the third night. I'm drinking it. So we drink it two nights before and tonight going to make the third night. I'm drinking apple cider vinegar, lemon together. All right. So just to make you guys aware, if you want medication, please check with your doctor before you make this and an amazing drink. Craig, nice to see you coming on the show. All right. Um, Robin, thank you so much. Appreciate you coming on the show 100%. Um, Elan, thank you so much for coming on the show. Um, and Janice Kelly. So if you guys have, if you guys have lemon, or if you guys have um apple cider vinegar, make I'm waiting for you to go in the kitchen and start the process with Chef Akala cooking. All right. So if you have a lemon and Chef um lemon and apple cider vinegar. And then you guys start the process, your process, let me know. Then we can start the show. All right. Yeah. Brown sugar. Well, go on, man. Big up yourself every time. Well, go on, brown sugar. <laughs> nice to see you coming on the show, man. I appreciate the love 100%. Mary 305. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Uh, Vernon James, thank you so much. Uh, the, uh, um, Samuel, Brooklyn, thank you so much for coming on the show. And Beverly. Um, no, I don't want you to use the lemon juice in the bottle. I need you to get fresh lemon. You all right? I need you to... Rebecca, thank you so much. I need you to get fresh lemon. All right. Um, all right. We got a fresh lemon. Brown sugar. Nice to see you, man. Robin Robinson. Thank you so much. C. Jackson. Ellen Marsh. Oh, no. So basically, you can't use regular vinegar. Guys, you have to use this one just to make, make your guys aware. Don't use regular vinegar you have to use this one so you need to take a picture of this one this is the one i'm using okay so take a picture of this one all right um so before you make it if you got either lemon or lime you can use lemon or lime all right so if you have lemon or lime if you don't have upper side of vinegar it is fine you can use lemon now if you got garlic you can also oops you can also use garlic and lemon also these two works together really well this is like antibiotic all right if you got these two you can also use these two now if you have garlic you can just use garlic I have the vinegar. Oh, all right, brown sugar. Get the, get it ready. 
Go in the kitchen, start the process. Gregor, what's going on? Parsley, if you got parsley, yeah, parsley. Or if you got rosemary, whatever you have at home, then just use it, man. Get the process, guys. I'm waiting for you to boil your kettle and let's make this together. We're gonna drink it together tonight. So I'm waiting for you guys to start your process. So right here, um, as you can see, I have lemon. And this is the upper side of vinegar I'm using. All right, I don't have lemon. Um, brown sugar, what do you have? Do you have garlic? Brown sugar, if you have garlic, please use garlic and lemon. Mix these two together. Well, um, apple cider vinegar do good for weight loss, but it's also very good for lower your blood sugar and very good for um, also high blood pressure and lots more stuff for the immune system where it can help to reduce the risk of certain kind of inflammation. But the lemon is also very good with this for high blood pressure. So this is right here, it's like antibiotic on its own. So if you guys got these two, you can use these two. No garlic, no lemon, only cinnamon. What that? And lemon juice. Oh, continue lemon juice. Oh. Um. So brown sugar, you don't have a brown sugar. You don't have none of these natural stuff, man. You can't do that brown sugar. You need to have these things. All right. If you don't have the, why else do you have brown sugar? Do you have cinnamon powder? If you don't have cider vinegar what else could i use to substitute the apple cider vinegar all right now if you do not have apple cider vinegar all right if you got fresh turmeric fresh ginger fresh lemon you can use it bro i think you need to run to the supermarket and come back i'm gonna wait for you till i come back <laughs> no brown sugar yeah i'm a friend you know i can't you know what i mean um big up my tiktok and my facebook audience once you open up a side of vinegar how long does it take to be now that it takes upper side of vinegar doesn't goes off doesn't expire all right two one two zero zero one one upper side of vinegar can expire brown sugar run to the supermarket and come back i'm waiting for you to come back all right yeah run to the supermarket lock the door make sure you lock the door door <laughs> brown sugar is my friend you know don't disrespect brown sugar i have lemon and i have garlic but i don't have apple cider vinegar okay all right if you got these two items you need to use these two items and we're going to be making two different cup of tea all right two different cup of tea so the first one is right here okay so this is for this and this one is for this one okay all right so let's i'm waiting for you guys to start that means i can know what to do because without uh, you guys start i can't start the show now if you boil a kettle i'm already have my kettle make sure you boil your kettle into some hot water Sharon, and there's a title a bit. Uh, hold on the first. Boil the kettle. Just a little bit of. Oh, sorry. Oh, your title. I'm on the side. Sorry. Yes, Thanksgiving was a lovely one. Yeah, very. Thank you so much. Yes. A lot of things. Texas is in the house. Thank you so much. Charlene, pepper. Yes, it can be because of Thanksgiving where you eat. So wait, right, right now, that's why I was encouraging you guys over the last couple of days to drink in the apple cider vinegar before you eat and the lemon. But if you're on medication, you have to be careful. All right. So if you have your high blood pressure is a little bit high, this is for you tonight. Drink this tonight before you go to your bed. 
garlic and lemon all right for high blood pressure so if you're high if you're if your high blood pressure is a little bit high tonight try this one or the upper side of vinegar and the lemon all right try these two tonight if you have so that's why i've been doing this video over the last couple of days because thanksgiving day a lot of people eat a lot of food and a lot of chicken a lot of beef a lot of lamb a lot of fried food and that's why i was encouraging you guys to do this one over the last couple of days all right so and anyway so if you guys have upper side of vinegar we're gonna go into upper side of vinegar so we're gonna do this one first so what you're gonna do all right we're going to do this one by pouring some hot water into the cup this is some hot water all right so I think this is a little bit too much hot water all right so we're using half cups of hot water so right here we got half cups of hot water right here guys okay all right thank you so much for the super sticker just give me a minute and then we're going to be using some lukewarm water some lukewarm some lukewarm water some buckle water sorry guys buckle water we're gonna put some buckle water into it and tap it up a little bit like this all right so make sure you guys are writing down the, this one all right then we're gonna get some lemon we're gonna get some lemon and we're going to squeeze the lemon inside of it like this all right roughly about half of a lemon juice is pretty good to squeeze inside of the water like this all right so if you guys can see what i'm doing I'm squeezing the water, the lemon, into the water like this. All right. So this is what you want to see right there. Okay. Then after you do this, get the upper side of vinegar. This one right here. Upper side of vinegar, the one I said mothers. All right. And we're going to shake up the upper side of vinegar and wake it up. All right. Then what we're going to do, we're going to get one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and give it a mix if you like you can put some honey but it doesn't need it all right that's a tip more of the apple cider vinegar that's a tinch more that's all right so right there that's this one all right apple cider vinegar and the lemon all right so this one right here i've been drinking this over the last three nights all right nice one okay so that's this one apple cider vinegar and lemon now we're gonna go over to the garlic all right so let's put this one side and let's get this one right here so now we're going to be doing the garlic one okay i want you guys to do this one because this one is important so we're going to get half of a lemon right here okay and we're gonna get some garlic. I'm using organic garlic. All right, I'm using some good. This one is a little bit thick garlic, but this one right here is organic garlic. All right. So what I'm doing it's simple crush my garlic all right now this is the garlic all 
Okay. Now you don't you can use um to be honest with you, you can use two cloves of garlic. But I got three medium sized cloves of garlic right here. I'm gonna use this three and I'm gonna cut them up very small. Alright, so I'm just getting the garlic ready. Okay, get your cake to boil in and get your water, guys. Alright, so it's roughly about a teaspoon of fresh garlic I'm using. I'm going to put it straight into the cup like this. All right. Now, you do not need to use cold water in this one. You can just use some hot water. So I just boil my kettle. So right here, I'm filling up it with some hot water. All right. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to get half of a lemon. And I'm going to squeeze that lemon inside of it like this. All right. Try and get some organic lemon. And if you like, what you can do is put half of a lemon inside of it like this. All right. So that one right there. Okay. And that is excellent from Chef Ricardo right here, guys. And I want you guys to do this one if you're at home right now. Please make it right now, all right? So basically, as I said, this one, brown sugar, I am going to try this. Yeah, so this one right here is very good for high blood pressure. And also very good to help to reduce the sugar. Very good to cleanse the immune system. Same thing with this one. It's like an antibiotic in his own right there. All right, guys. So it's a very good look right there. Good night. Thank you so much, Mr. Simit. Appreciate it. All right. Very, very good recipe. So I'm waiting for you guys to go in the kitchen. I am making it. Thank you so much, Chef Ricardo. God bless you. You're welcome to Blue. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Sorry. All right. Yeah. So... This one, it is lemon and apple cider vinegar. And I'm drinking this one. Right now, I'm drinking this one, guys. It is amazing. And the flavor tastes really good. All right. And this is going to be the third night I'm drinking this one. Yes, I'm, I'm just here every evening because of Thanksgiving Day. And I'm trying to get my audience back on the good truck. This one, I'm going to drink this one with the garlic. I'm not going to waste it, guys. It doesn't make... It's it's really good. It's the, these are just natural stuff. They are just natural things. You know what I mean? Even the garlic. I'm going to drink the garlic one. I'm going to drink both of them right in front of you guys. All right? So, in the meantime, you can make your one. Okay? Tomorrow night... I'm going to be coming with a ginger tea or a lemon tea or it could be the same thing. So you can buy some ginger or lemon. The only reason why I'm doing this one now because of Thanksgiving Day. And a lot of people eat chicken, rice, beef, pasta, all of these things over Thanksgiving Day. So they need to cleanse their body. This is also very good to blend and drink also. All right. This one, very, very good to drink. Blend and drink with ginger and lemon. And I'm drinking this one right now. But um, you have to be careful with lemon and apple cider vinegar because it's very acidy. And a lot of people cannot. I just had a green apple. Yeah. Yes. Green apple. With ginger and lemon, if you blend it together, 
it's very good to cleanse the color is a column column or column if i'm calling it the right way is a very good remedy to cleanse the body these with ginger and lemon and just because it's late i can't make my nice else i would make one of this to show you all right so very very good recipe so at the moment i'm drinking this right now But when you drink this kind of tea, always use some water and wash out your mouth. Yeah, column. All right. Always use some water and wash out your mouth after. All right. Because of the, the acid and the... Now, if you drink apple cider vinegar and it burn your stomach, nice recipe, Chef Ricardo. I will start making it. That's some tomorrow. You see, Johnson, thank you so much. And also, you can drink it first thing in the morning. That's the beautiful thing. And a empty stomach. And also, you can drink it two to three hours or just before you're going to go to bed. That means when you're sleeping, it is cleaning your stomach. All right? Ah, beautiful. Very tasty and nice. Um, um, <laughs> Bev, what is for? This one has got garlic and lemon right here. Very, with hot water. It's two ingredients. I'm just trying you guys not to have, um, what do you call it? Honey, because you see the honey is, they don't want to be putting too much honey in your bloodstream because it's sweet, special. You know what I mean? You want to cleanse the body. And that's why I'm trying my best to give you um, this one, all right? Um, Ving, thank you so much for the, for the super sticker, guys. I appreciate it. All right. So right here, as you can see, this one almost finished. Because I'm drinking it to show you exactly. All right. Yeah, thank you so much for the sticker. I appreciate it, man. 100%. If it... Um... Brown sugar, let me see. Yes, Sharon, just a little bit of everything, 100%. Brown sugar, we appreciate your chef, your knowledge, and thank you so much. Brown sugar, make sure you go to the shop tomorrow and get some of these things. Because after Thanksgiving, after Christmas, you're still going to need this, guys. Because Christmas, people will be cooking a lot of stuff. And then, you know what I mean? They need to cleanse their body after. After Christmas, we're going to be doing a lot of cleansing. All right. Here it is. So this one is finished. All right. That's apple cider vinegar. And um, Sharon, what's going on? Nice to see you coming on the show. Okay, going to the store for garlic tomorrow. Definitely, I will try to get some of my edit. Herbs, yeah. Yes, brown sugar. Make sure you go to the to the supermarket and grab a few stuff, man. It's important. So, all right now, guys. I'm going to be drinking this one now to show you. All right. This one is garlic and lemon. Ah, oh, I love this. This is amazing. I just love it. It's just something I wish when I drink the garlic. Ah. Oh. If, you, if I could explain it, I can't explain it to you guys. I can't ex but it is so beautiful to drink this one. The, the garlic and the lemon. Let's take a good look, guys. That's garlic and, and lemon. All right. Great go. Guys, listen, you need to join Chef Ricardo YouTube channel membership. All right, you need to. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yes, you can drink this right here. Garlic. This is very good for the cold too. Please, you can join the membership by clicking that join button and be a member of Chef Recorder YouTube channel if you want to support for two months, one month, one week. All right? That means you don't miss my videos. Because I will be giving you guys a lot of stuff. Um, the membership is on there. Hold on. The first. Um, it's right there. You can... Uh, membership so I will share this with you for my members so when you go on my YouTube channel it is right there and on the left hand corner where you can join um Yes, um, my cookbook link is on my website, chefrecorder.co.uk. I'll just share this uh, membership with you guys, all right? That's a second. Um, yeah, I'm always sharing it, but, <laughs> you know, sometimes I'm concentrating on my, um, my, my, But the member is in the corner of my YouTube channel. So if you want to join the membership, as soon as I hang up, you can I can share it with you guys. Okay, for some reason it's not giving me the access right now, but it's 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 showing me members. Um But the member is right there though. He's in the left hand corner. I think I have to share with you with another day. Well, I, um, but if you want to download my book, www.chef. Yeah, that's the website. If you want to download the book but if you want to be a member of my youtube channel is the link is in the left hand corner okay brown sugar find it welcome brown sugar <laughs> brown sugar man is on my member big up yourself brown sugar all is a support chef ricardo 8154 for brown sugar welcome brown sugar man green up my scream hey brown sugar what's <laughs> Craig um, Brown Sugar is on the lead, man. Thank you so much. Good night. What can I learn? Lower my sugar. That's why I said the apple cider vinegar and the lemon is very good for that right there. Apple cider vinegar and the lemon. This one. And this. You need to drink it before you go to bed tonight. So you need to go, take a picture of it and get it in the super, in the um, your health shop that can help you or uh, you need to cut out sweet stuff um try to eat a little bit more healthier and also you can drink this one this one is lemon and garlic very good yes brown sugar a massive massive welcome to Chef Ricardo member brown sugar man <laughs> cinnamon can lower your blood sugar too yes yeah Craig is giving you some ideas cause you know 
Craig is a Craig out normally for the chef recorder, you know. <laughs> yes, the one is really good. Wow, my mom. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, man. I'm so sorry to hear that, but um, that's why it's just so good for you to look after yourself. Robin, I'm sorry to hear that one. Just a little bit. Yeah. Um, Sharon Bentley, sign us, sign us, sign us, sign us. All right. Now, sign us is another thing which, um, sign us is another thing which I have to work on for you and get a few ideas, which is, which is very good for, because I never, I, um, to be honest, I never come up um, for A fever. I have A fever, but sinus, I never have sinus before, which I say I could work on it. Um, I have to do a good research for you for, on the sinus because sinus is another level. Um, you know, yeah. Sharon, thank you so much. Halberberry syrup. Okay. Halberberry syrup. I never, I try, um, I try to, uh, syrup is good, but I try not to use um, too much of the sweet stuff them. I try to use probably this honey. This, this, this is the honey I normally use. All right. Yeah. So that's the, the honey, which I normally use. Big up my TikTok audience. I don't forget you guys over there. Um, I'm still here. Uh, what do you have into the tea uh, in the glass? Oh, that is just lemon and garlic. I'm so sorry about it, my TikTok. Come over to my YouTube channel and my Facebook page. Uh, uh, D. Jacqueline Brown. Uh, 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 Charlie Prof. Um, it may on Amazon, I don't know, you know. I don't know. I, I don't know if it is, um, what's the best remedy you can share for sinus for Sharon Bentley? Because, um, I never suffer from sinus before. I normally have, I have a fever in summertime of the year. But it's not too bad. I think because of my diet, I changed my diet. I see my uh, my A fever is take time going away from me now. Cause this year it wasn't bad. But when I'm in when I'm in the Caribbean, I don't suffer from A fever. But when I'm in England, my A fever and he, um my A fever kick off. But now I think my, my A fever is going away. I don't know if because I changed my diet. I don't know what happened. But this year it was bad. It wasn't bad at all. And I, I was suffering from all over the years. And I see over the last two years, three years now, it is take time leaving my body. So I don't know if it's because I'm getting used to the, 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 the atmosphere. I'm trying to get that honey. Um, well, if you are in London, if you are in the UK, you can get it. So I don't know if I because of I changed my diet and I'm drinking so many natural stuff. Why my a fe my my a fever is going away from me now? Because a lot of people suffer from a fever, you know, who from the Caribbean in this country. But. I recognize my one is going away. 
Um, I order it on Amazon. Okay. Someone said they order it on Amazon. Um, do you, a hey chef, do you have a video? Um, shot in pepper. Yes, Moringa is very good. Yeah, I have a um Mar yeah, I got a lot of video. So when you go on my YouTube channel, can you notice YouTube got live shorts and video? So I think I have them on both live shorts and video. I got all different kind of moringa tea. So moringa powder. Yeah, I got a lot of them. Here, here it is. So I use it a lot of time. Um, Sharon Bentley, Sharon, I will, um, let's see, yeah, Sharon Bentley, try merengue. Cause you never know. This is very good, you know, merengue, and ginger and garlic or ginger and lemon, and blend it. Or get some pineapple with merengue, with some ginger and lemon. God, this is very good. This, this of, um, let's see, how much, how much stuff inside of it. These are the, the amount of stuff in it. You got vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin E, vitamin B1, vitamin B2, vitamin B6, progesterone, cholesterol, all sort of stuff. And they also minerals, mineral, minerals, and iron. So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, no, 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 this is the United 14, 15, 16, 16 different kind of stuff in this. So uh, I would say to you, try this one, even boil the tea and drink it. If you can get moringa leaf, boil the tea and drink it. Probably may help you because this got a lot of health benefit, which probably can help you. All right. Vitamin E, vitamin C, vitamin A, um, yeah. So, try this one, moringa. And I would say to you, drink a lot of natural herbs for your sinus. All right, try and drink a lot of natural herb for the sinus. I'm drinking the garlic and the lemon tea right now, guys. It's beautiful. Now, if you're at home right now, and if you got like fresh lemon in your fridge, or fresh ginger, or even fresh ginger, grate it and make a cup of tea. All right, guys, don't afraid to go in the kitchen and make yourself a cup of tea from ginger or garlic, or lemon. Just don't have any honey inside of it for now. All right, try and drink it naturally like what Chef Ricardo been doing right here. I'm drinking natural garlic and lemon. Just like this. And I know you guys can do this at home. All right. Uh, yes, I drink coffee sometimes. Sometimes I drink coffee. I drink coffee one in the morning and that's it. Do you drink coffee? Drink coffee. Yes, I drink coffee. You see my question. Um <laughs> do, do you do you are you I'm so sorry man, my TikTok audience. I that's why I said to my TikTok audience and if you need to come over to my YouTube channel, I didn't see your your um Your um your question. I'm sorry, I did not see your question, but come over to my YouTube channel and then I can answer your question. All right. If you come to my YouTube, um, um learn. Yes, cafe. Yeah, definitely. But when I'm drinking my coffee, I don't drink it strong. I I don't drink it strong. I think I drink it very weak. I don't drink it with caffeine. I drink there's one which doesn't have any caffeine in it. 
because a lot of people doesn't know it. Some people say a lot of research saying I was listening to another guy and he was like, oh, coffee is not good for you. Then they listen to another doctor, another person, they say coffee is good for you. You listen to a million people who say coffee is good and you find at least 10% of that say it's not good. So, But I drink coffee, now and then. Do you drink um, tea? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Sharon, just <laughs> no. I only said to you if you drink it all day. Um, I never drink much of tea before. I don't love. I'll, I never have that one before. But um, I don't drink coffee all day. I will drink it one time for the day, and that's it. That's it. I don't drink. Uh, yeah, but you know what I mean. Um. Some coffee is something where, you know what I mean, sometimes you feel for a coffee <laughs> for some reason. Um, do you drink organic? Yeah. Um, well, uh, you know, yes, I, I drink organic coffee. But yeah, I drink it. Well, um, I tell her. When I was in Jamaica the other day, I get it. To, and I tell you something, it was one of the best I drink so far. Different from the one in England, yeah. Oh, do you make one of my... Um, Fiber right. <laughs> Um, Craig, yes, yeah. Because if you will, you will get addicted to it. But if you drink it too much, but you have, you have to manage yourself to it, towards it because don't drink like three, four times for the day. If you drink one in the morning, you're pretty good to go. You know? Um, Robin. Uh, for your five right now. As I said, you need to get the merengue. This one. You can get moringa, all right, moringa, leaf, and um, you can get some lemon and ginger, all right, and then what you can do is get some uh, pineapple, you can get a piece of uh, um, turmeric and blend up all of that together. You can also use blueberry, you can use a favorite, but also you can make this into a tea and drink it, which is also very good. And also you can use oregano. If you mix this with oregano, ginger, and lemon and make a cup of tea. Very good for your fiber fi right. Right here. Marenge. But I will definitely do a video for you for that one. I will let you know when I'm going to do the video. Yeah, I will definitely. So the, um, I don't drink those one. I only drink, 95% of my time, I drink a lot of water. Um, I drink a lot of water, a lot of green juice. Um, I drink a lot of green tea. Um, and also, I drink a lot of turmeric. So that's why I don't run out of these things. So when I feel for something, this is what I drink. Oh, you stop drinking soda tree. Yeah, that's good. Doesn't good for you. Yeah. So I don't drink those things. So very, I don't know. I don't think that for me, I don't even didn't know that they still exist. Now, right here, as you can see, I have roughly about quarter cups of my um lemon. And um so what I normally do, guys, I will take out the lemon. You can also have the lemon if you like to. But the garlic, I normally eat the garlic. Mm -hmm. So I eat the garlic. Alright? Mm -hmm. Alright, guys. Right. So, that's the garlic I'm eating right now.
Here it is. Garlic with lemon water. Mm. Wow, that was delicious. Very, very delicious. Very, very delicious. Um, that is amazing. I just love it, guys, honestly. So I eat the garlic and I drink the liquid. All right. Now, this garlic I'm using, it is organic garlic. So it's really nice. It's not like this one. This one is thick, as you can see. But this one is a little bit different. And the garlic is very good for coal. And, and Bentley, I think you can also have the garlic, you know, and see if it will help you with your sinus. Because garlic is powerful, man. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to hear this one, guys. Now, Amy saying that when she eat what? The garlic seems like our feet is not cold. So, that is a very good thing for, you know what I mean? It's a different body, different, you know what I mean? Every one of us is different with our body. <laughs> Sarah, they're cracking me up now. Sarah, you need to join my membership. Chef Ricardo cooking and, you know, yeah. Yeah, man. But as I said, guys, yeah, just a, every, just a little bit of everything as a Sharon Ben is Sharon is saying. <laughs> just a, a little bit of everything. But it is beautiful to catch up with you tonight again. So the question I want to ask, what do you guys want? What kind of tea do you guys want to drink tomorrow night? Tomorrow is going to be... Um, tomorrow night is Saturday night. What kind of tea would you like for me and you guys to drink tomorrow night? All right. So if you want me to make a tea tomorrow night, what kind of tea would you recommend? All right. Let me know. I got garlic, ginger, lemon, and turmeric. Red onion. Let me know what kind of tea, guys, you want me to make tomorrow night. Um, I brought them from the L shop. Oh, Myla got elephant. Oh, right. I didn't hear that one before. Sure. Oh, okay. All right. Um, Sharon. Mint tea. Oh, someone want mint tea. All right. Robin, any kind of tea? Um, Amy, something with salmon and spinach. No, something with no. Um, we're talking about in the night. I'm not cooking in the night. We're talking about a tea recipe, which, um, because remember Thanksgiving is just finished, and we need to drink something to flush our immune system. All right, so I'm just simply saying something which it can be ginger, garlic, lemon, you know, something which turmeric, where you guys have in your house, where you can use to make a tea. Um, Craig, I said onion. Oh, hibiscus tea is very good. But a lot of people may not have that one. So, okay. Okay. Um, oh, if you want to cure infection, this is it right here. Garlic. All right, guys. Garlic is like, yeah, very powerful. All right. Garlic is powerful. Get yourself some garlic 
and you can eat the garlic, crush it in, make it into a tea and do a lot of stuff. So basically, what I have in my fridge at the moment, I got, I got ginger, I got lemon, I got um, mint, I got thyme. All right? Now, now, a lot of people is underestimate this little thing right here. Because I don't hear anyone is talking about this one. Time. Time is what you cook with at home. Let, let's do the research on time. I'm going to share something, an article with you guys about time. All right. Um... Time is very good for the body, but a lot of people doesn't, doesn't know that time is a very, very good thing to cook with, to, to make tea also. So let's give you the article of time. Um, the benefit of time, where it is. Okay, all right, here it is. Now I'm going to share this article with you because we will just come off a Thanksgiving day and you have to be careful what you're going to be eating. And what you're drinking. Okay. Now, read this article, guys. I want you guys to read the article. Or I'm going to share it to you. All right. I'm going to pin this right there. That's the part of time. And this is the balance bit of the time. Not, not time like time, the time what to cook with it. So, Yeah, um, this article say, say that still, but there's an, another article which I'm looking for to see kind of what they are saying that there's no scientist proof about that. But, um, where it is? Let me see if it's down here now. Um, the benefit, let me see. Time T. Let me see if it's come up here. Um, there are, there's a five benefit of time tea right here hopefully because a lot of people talk about it and i was reading another article about it so let's share this one with you um So I'm going to share this article with you also. But a lot of people talk about it. All right, here's another one. Of this um, article about the time. That's five benefit of time. Right, um, but very good. This one, guys. This right here is also very good, and I like to use things which people can easily have access to because a lot of people may not have access to a lot of stuff. Um, even purple onion or the white onion is also very good to make tea. Also, so hopefully, something which I can use to help you which is really handy at home something which can um help you with your high blood pressure or your sugar or weight loss or detoxing or cholesterol in your body or to flush your immune system is this because over the last couple of days people have been eating and drinking and doing a lot of stuff which you know what i mean where normal people normally do 
but also you have to cleanse back the body. So, we yes, we have rosemary. We got lots of stuff can use. So, but tomorrow, we're definitely going to have to make another cup of tea tomorrow. And it's going to have to be something healthy. Um, yeah. Rosemary tea is very, very good. I like rosemary tea. It's a relaxing tea to drink before you even go to your bed. So probably tomorrow. All right. Do you guys want us to make some rosemary tea tomorrow night? Let me know how we can make rosemary tea tomorrow night. Ginger tea is very good too. Yeah. Over on my TikTok, someone is saying ginger tea. Six, six, nine, seven. We could, yes, rosemary tea. It's very have access to rosemary. <laughs> Uh, I will I will go to the shop and get the organic one. But this one is going. So we're gonna make rosemary tea tomorrow night. So guys, get yourself some rosemary, ginger, and lemon. All right. So tomorrow night, you know exactly what the time. One o'clock, two o'clock. That's Chef Ricardo time. C Jackson, ginger tea. So tomorrow night, rosemary tea. Write down that on your list and we can make a big cup of rosemary tea tomorrow night and drink it together because it's a very good tea to drink before you go to your bed and it's also a relaxing tea. Yes, it really works. Socks, red on enemy socks. I did it before and it works. Put it on underneath your feet before you go to your bed. So tomorrow night, we're going to get get yourself rosemary for tomorrow night, 1 o'clock, 1.30, my time. Turn on your notification on your phone. We're going to make rosemary tea tomorrow night. We can make it with some, you can drink it on its own. And also you can add a little bit of lemon and also some ginger to it if you like to. So have those three ingredients, ginger, rosemary, and lemon. All right. That's for tomorrow night, 2 o'clock, Chef Ricardo time. All right. So, yes, brown sugar. Very good for joint pain. <laughs> Rose, um, yes, so that's why I say when you're doing apple cider vinegar, it is good for you to drink in water and wash out your mouth after. All right. And also, some people use the straw to drink it. Upper side of vinegar and lemon water. So tomorrow night, rosemary tea. Thank you so much, guys, for coming on the show tonight. Please join my YouTube channel membership if you want to keep up there with Chef Ricardo or we can do this together at night because Chef Ricardo support my audience at night because of the different time zone. So I normally sleep during the day for a very long time, wake up late in the evening and do my show. All right. So tomorrow night, we're going to do the rosemary tea. And then you guys can tell me what you want us to make on Sunday evening. I can't do it in the morning because it's different time zone. I put on and underneath my feet because of my fire ride and it's really smooth. Man. Okay. All right, now I want to say thank you so much and have a good evening. And remember, guys, anything you are doing, put God first. Remember, put God first in everything and the Lord will bless you and he will guide you and he will protect you and put your trust in God. Don't put your trust in nothing else but God. is the only person you can put your trust in. And anything you do and you put God first, it will work. And if you got faith... Little like a mustard seed, it will work. It's all about faith. All right? So anything you're doing, no matter what you are going through, no matter what, the, no matter what happening at home, in the house, on the news, on the TV, whatever you're doing, just 
put God first in everything what you're doing. All right? And trust me, he will make a way for you. No matter what happened. If you're feeling pain, cold, flu, sickness, whatever you're going through, don't give up. Just pray and the Lord will bless you and he will provide for you and he will protect you and he will heal you. No man on earth can tell me that there is not a God. God is real, man. I prove it over and over. So, I have my own testimony can share it to many people all over the world. So, God is real. And if Shepherd God is telling you this, at this time of the morning that anything you are doing, put God first in everything what you do at home. No matter what you are going through. No matter if you don't have food on the table, food in the kitchen, money to go on the bus or to take, just trust God. He will make a way. And I believe to everyone in this world, no matter who you are, no matter where you come from, no matter where you are, no matter where you live, is there. Because once there is life, there is hope. All right? Thank you so much. Have a beautiful evening. And I will be seeing you guys tomorrow for rosemary tea have a great evening man i met the lord bless you guide and protect you see you next time bye bye big up yourself sharon